and we back. And then today we got a little very couple, couple of little special guests in the building, man. I appreciate y'all being here with me on the band. We got the boy Mark that music. Sure. And we got a fly guy. Look at him. <laughs> Safe to say, we can see why they call him fly guy. Safe to say. I'm going to tell you something. That's not why they call me fly guy. Let's talk about it. Because I talk shit, bro. My mouth fly. So you talk fly shit? Yeah. That word. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Shit, just fly out of my mouth. Shit, just fly out of my mouth. Okay, look. Can I cuss on it? We're going to be. A little bit. Okay, we can do that. My bad. Just try to contain yourself, right? Okay, I got you. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go out with that from the beginning, from both of y'all. Okay. If you can, we're gonna first. Uh, what type of kid was you growing up, my thing? To be honest, man. Nah, <laughs> nah I, was, I was a good kid, man. I was kind of spoon fed, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Sometimes I wish that I wouldn't, so when time got hard, I'll be, over, be ready to overcome adversity, but I ain't know how, you know what I'm saying? Because I was given everything, so probably spoiled, definitely. Four kids growing up. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Did you get in trouble? Never. You say it out of the way. Yeah. That's what's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so at what age did you start following love with music? Man, I've been loving music since I was about five, bro. My grandma used to have this little small radio in the room. Mm -hmm. You know, you can only twist it. That's the only way it works. <laughs> you yeah. twist it like that. I used to sing gospel songs back and forth with it all the time. So I left out when I was five. So you was in church then? Yeah, it can't be. When I was young, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Like I got the same question. Well, I mean, I was kind of like, you know, spoon fed. Uh, you know, you go through stuff, you know, I ain't rich or nothing like that. But, you know, like, I'm spoiled too. Like, you know, like, especially with my mama. Growing up, you know, my dad in and out of prison, so like I was with my mom most of the time to about high school and stuff like that. So she spoiled me right for real. But it's it's not just her, it's the people around me, like my yeah. aunties, my grandma, my granddaddy is so my other granddaddy, you know, Christian Reed. You, you, know, <laughs> you know, so I always been spoiled, like I came like, and from. Yeah, but I got whoopers and stuff, but I ain't get them like that. Probably like after <laughs> 10, I learned my list. And you turn you up? Yeah, like, my, but my lad, my lad woman I had got was like in uh, middle school. I had slapped this girl in the face for, uh, kept talking about going to her, stopped talking about her mom was going through things. She stepped, she kept out of you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but when my dad <laughs> came up there, got that principal telling me like, uh, they crazy. The, the, the principal telling me like, uh, she, I guess she told my dad that something like I was running the business, but I know I ain't running the business. You know, they yeah. like he don't act like this normally. Yeah. So, woo woo, but my daddy got me back and he, I never told the business again. Give me a sick man. Give me something you like this. Somebody tell me a secret, I think about him on that bed giving me about 1,500 leaks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, so I don't tell nobody the business. Why else did you get your hustle from? My hustle? Your hustle. Oh, my daddy. Dope boy. Pop. Like, my mama too, but like, to see, like, when my daddy came home, you know, he was trying to straighten up with that hustle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Turning nothing to something. Like, yeah. one time my daddy put the whole thing in my face. This ain't what you want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. risking life for real. So, yeah. to me, it was like, I, I want to be a hustler. I want to be a boss, but I don't want to go down the path. He went down. I feel like he'll fail as a father if I don't enjoy that too. Yeah. But still, though, that hustle still remains, though. No matter what you got that hustle. Oh yeah, for sure. Hustle is mine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. Yeah, I did that. Like, sure. it, I tell my, I tell bro all the time, but I feel like I'm drug dealer doing the promo game. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah, you look like Frank Lucas over there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, so, tell our audience where exactly y'all got me. How long y'all been knowing each other? Well, about three and a half. Is it three? Yeah, yeah. Four now. yeah it's about four. Four, 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 five, but they prime. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. That's where it started. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Where? Well, I mean, you want to tell us? I remember like him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be in something. Yeah, I remember. Basically, like, 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 I'm, I'm going to go and tell the yeah, story. I'm going to let him tell his side. But me, I was already promoting. And this when I was trying to build a team. Yeah. You know, I like when we first started, I ain't have a name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, I just noticed people. You know what I'm saying? So like, I used to know this bro, like, bro used to be in that thing. So one day I just went to him like, hey bro, you know, you 
be doing if you become that rare and serious. And so he was like, just a bat. Ooh, I was like, man, you need to rock with me. You need to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Then I found that he be singing and stuff. So I was like, oh yeah, we finna go, we finna go crazy. It was, it was, a, it was a ooh. It was like from God, like my brother, right? Yeah. yeah. We've been locked in for a minute, but I just knew, man, right off the rip. I, I could already read and see what type of person he was. All he was like, I so I got to approach you, you know what I'm saying? First thing go through your mind. Shit, we on the same thing. We trying to get to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I went, bro, after a couple of days, I already knew that he was on the same thing I was on. Might not have been the same dream, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? It's mentality. the same mentality. You know what I'm saying? So I knew he was chasing that. I was chasing this. We put it together. We helped each other out. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Shit, we went from working right. with my brother ever since. We done, we done failed. Yeah, we really beat each other back up. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm really. saying? But that's just how it go, man. Yeah. Now, I ain't like that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. For folks that may not know, this brother right here is a talented singer. I'm going to keep it honest with you. I don't even get folks that probably don't deserve it. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. Appreciate I heard a few of these songs, you know what I'm saying? At what moment did you start doing music? When did you start following up with it? Where did you get that? Because I heard soul in your music. I heard, I heard. Man, you said church. You came from a church background. And that uh, played a part. Yeah, man, definitely. Like, when I was young, I used to watch my grandma sing all the time. I watched my dad sing, and I watched my mom sing. So it was like, it was just naturally in me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But me putting the passion and everything behind it is like, I don't know, it's like it just struck on me one day, man. It was like, man, this is what you got right here. You know what I'm saying? But I weighed probably like 150 pounds my whole life till now. I was chasing a football dream. One night I had a dream, man, and it showed me in front of millions of people singing on the stage. When I did that, I knew exactly what was going on. I know I wasn't going to the NFL, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I had to get to really what God put me on this earth to do, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, I have been in front of some, some real people before, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't my time yet, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. This is my time now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, time is everything for sure. Yeah, right. Man. Let's, yeah. Talk, let's talk about the Dallas music scene right now. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just keep it a buck. And the reason I don't like it because the people that already got their foot in the door, mm -hmm. they would never try to help the people that don't. Like, like you got, I ain't gonna speak on their names, but you got a couple people that's already in the game. And these was their partners before they got in the game. Like they was right. riding with them before, but they trying to pull off their career. Right. They ain't trying to. Is that a Dallas thing or is it just Stuff somebody do once they get on, you know. What I, mean? know I see it big here, man. I ain't gonna lie. I see a bunch of people from different states bringing their young, their yeah. young cats up. Yeah. They ain't even so much them in bring position. Them. Yeah, that's what, what they I'm get saying. Shot. I can't even see most of the people that made it out here. I don't even see them posting their young, their young cats or whatever that's really trying to do their thing. Like, help them out, bro. You feel like that's Dallas downfall? Big downfall. They be hating support. on each other. Support is like lack of support, track. Lead. You don't know one single right now that's on the top in Dallas. We got a million singers, but we got a couple people that's already got their foot in the door. They could be like, hey, well, look, man, check my little bro out. You know what I'm saying? Check his music out. Just post it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You ain't got to do too much. Just post it. You know? Yeah. But I know a couple like singers with Cash Page. Yeah, she nice. Yeah, she nice, but uh, I mean. But like, I see me, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But like that with Cash Page. You know what I'm saying? You from her. You know what I'm saying? Like I understand you want your career, you want to get to that pinnacle, but it's no, it's you know what I'm saying? Like I, like I don't watch a lot of people, so I don't, I really wouldn't know if she mentioned people or not. But I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I follow like right. Real Tune, I follow Dallas Globe, I follow like our media streams. And I never see on posts where she might be shouting somebody out right. or Jell or shouting somebody out. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like we in the city. Like what part of Dallas see from though? Oh, uh, Cash Page. I don't know. I don't even know her. Don't even know she exists. I don't know. I I, I don't. But she, but she look like she she moved around though. You know what no, I'm she saying? she she did. She got she got features with people and she can sing. Like I feel like I like on Twitter. I feel like we used to follow each other. I remember. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't never just met her like that. But like I knew she was singing before she sung. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just she got the good image, the right image for it. All that, but I feel like what we lack that another city might do is they'll bring somebody up like, oh yeah, I'm in the spotlight, but I've mentioned such, 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 and you never know who, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, whoever she signed to got her. Mm -hmm. Don't mean Sony won't double back and try to go get a talent like that, which you mentioned, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's just, mm -hmm. it's just stuff like that. But yeah. I think that's the lack of respect that we yeah. have out here. You mm -hmm. know, people just really loyal to the money out here. So yeah, man. 
At the end of the day, the people love for themselves. Yeah. They really want to go around to. City got talent. It's yeah, they got it. This could be this could be a, a hub by itself. A hub by itself. Like I like I tell them all the time, I want to turn this to black Hollywood. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because we don't just have musical talent, we got talent. Yeah. Yeah. Media stuff too. Media, media. everything is talent. That's talent too, bro. You know what I'm yeah. Build a platform. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about club scene. You know? Yeah. Look up. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, they get money. He said, "Yeah." I'm surprised he hit me with the bird in the head. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the club scene, the night scene in Dallas right now. Tell me a little bit about it. Is it the spot to be? Yeah. The Dallas nightlife is this. That's it. It's it. Like yeah. you're you out of town. Oh yeah, this is the spot you to you, you, you hit apply and then I let you go everything. Yeah. But no, yeah. some real stuff like it's so many plays, so many people doing different things and avenues. Like yeah. the only thing I wish really that happened here is that most more of us work together instead of it's just like the music industry. You know what I'm saying? Somebody up here, you know what I'm saying? You can easily bring somebody like this, but instead you want to keep them. You want to put all these. Restrictions like yeah. nah. That's why I say I feel like a dope boy in the game because I'm coming to take. Mm. I'm not waiting on people. Yeah, I respect game. I, I got loyalty in me, but at the end of the day, it's gotta be respect because loyalty only gets you so far. So what type of attributes do you have to have to be a promoter? I feel like you need that gift for gab. That's the only attribute you need. And then anything else like that, you soft sell by yourself. Yeah. But you gotta be able to reach right. and touch somebody and tell them come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I tell them all the time, you know what I'm saying? I ain't the most popular dude in the But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna touch, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm really gonna let people know I'm out here. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? A lot of times we get we get big headed in the promotion game to yeah. where we starting to act like artists and stuff, but that's not yeah. a promoter, you're promoting. What are you promoting? Like we promote this club, right. that's the club we promote, we promote right. this artist, we're gonna promote him. Right. 